There are many different types of sea critters living in our oceans. In fact, there are 228,450 known species in the ocean, and as many as 2 million more that remain a total mystery. From tiny diatoms and airworms to huge blue whales and giant spider crabs, there is a vastly diverse ecosystem in our beloved ocean. Much remains to be learned from exploring the secrets of the deep, and the ocean is a dark and mysterious place, yet we have only explored less than 5% of it. The ocean is an essential part of Earth, covering more than 70% of the planet's surface, driving weather, regulating temperature, and ultimately supporting all living organisms. Although the ocean can sometimes be a scary place with deep sea critters we may never see with our own eyes, it's fascinating to watch films of these mysterious beings move around in their dark home. The deeper you reach into the ocean, the more mysterious it gets. One common class of sea creatures you might recognize is chondrichthys, which include fish that have a cartilaginous skeleton. This class is further divided into two subclasses, elasmobrachii, which includes sharks, skates, and rays, and holocephali, which are chimera. The deeper into the ocean you go, the more these creatures start to differentiate from one another, and the less we begin to know about them. What we do know is that over time, sharks have been able to adapt to living in many different aquatic habitats and at different temperatures. Some sharks live in shallow, coastal regions, while others live in deep waters, on the ocean floor, and in open oceans. Some species are even known to swim in salt, fresh, and brackish waters. According to Oceana, any shark that lives 984 feet below sea level is considered a deep sea shark. Because the environment these sharks live in is vastly unexplored, very little is known about them. However, progress is being made as new technology that allows scientists to explore deeper into the ocean continues to develop. Beginning with the in-between layer, the twilight zone begins at 660 feet, where the light starts to diminish and will become faint and filtered during the daytime because the seawater absorbs and scatters the sunlight. While many sharks live in the sunlit top layer euphotic zone, fewer sharks live in or past this twilight zone. As you continue to go deeper, at 3,300 feet below the surface, you will reach the midnight aphotic zone. A small minority of species live down here in complete darkness, with an immense 5,800 psi bearing on their bodies. It's a mystery how a creature like a shark can bear that much weight. Going back up to the twilight zone, you will have to bear a much lighter pressure that sits around 1,470 psi. This makes living a bit easier for the shark, but it doesn't make them any less mysterious. Some of the twilight zone sharks, including the goblin shark and the greenland shark, have earned a reputation for their sci-fi alien-like looks. The most distinctive feature on the goblin shark is its long, prominent snout covered with special sensing organs that help it sense electric fields in the darkness. It also has unusual coloration that ranges from pinkish to purplish gray, with bright blues around the edges of its fins. This may sound like a typical shark, but what puts it in the creepy category is its jaw. Although the goblin shark tries to keep it shut most of the time, its jaw can be extended to the length of its snout to help it eat fish, squid, and crustaceans. It also has so many teeth that not all of them fit in its mouth when it's shut. Although this shark may rise many feet to eat fish at night, it spends most of its time in the open ocean around 4,265 feet below the surface. Live goblin sharks have rarely been observed and almost never filmed, so most of the scientists' knowledge of this species is because of accidental captures in fisheries targeting other species. The Greenland sharks, on the other hand, are plentiful and have been observed and filmed more times than the goblin shark. With an average life expectancy of 200 years and flesh that is poisonous if eaten raw, it is easy to see why these beasts are still around. Although their bodies are comparable in size to a great white shark, Greenland sharks tend to be non-confrontational to humans, even when they could kill one with ease if they feel threatened. Being able to dive as deep as 7,218 feet, yet rise enough feet to catch seals and fish is this mammal's specialty, but they would prefer to stay at temperatures ranging from 30 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Being the longest living vertebrae and having spectacular diving skills isn't what makes this shark creepy though. It's their enormous size, eerie slowness, and eyeball parasites. That's right, eyeball parasites. These huge creatures move at about 0.76 miles per hour, which is slow enough for parasites to latch onto their eyeballs for a meal. The copepod parasite latches onto that shark's eye and destroys the corneal tissue, making the shark mostly blind. Luckily for the shark, light rarely penetrates the deep waters anyways, so it relies on other sensory systems to get around and find prey. Although these sharks may be spooky, other creatures lurking in the twilight zone are just as creepy, if not creepier. 
Animals that live in the twilight zone must be able to survive cold temperatures, an increase in water pressure, and darkness. Many animals in this zone have super thin bodies or a red or black color that help them hide from predators and blend in with the dark water. Other fish have sharp fangs and large mouths that help them catch food or large eyes that help them see in the dark. Since it is so dark, there are no plants in this zone because there's not enough light for photosynthesis. This forces most of the fish in this zone to be predators. These fish don't chase their food though, they either stalk it or wait for it to float or swim by. Although this area is very dark, some extraordinary creatures that live in this zone can make their own light. Using special organs in their bodies called photophores, these fish can make a light called bioluminescence. The photophores give off a greenish light that helps them blend into their surroundings, scare off predators, and attract a mate or prey. Some Twilight Zone fish that are known for these creepy traits include the viperfish, barrel eye fish, and hatchet fish. The viperfish includes any species of the fish in the genus Shiaetus that usually have long, sharp teeth, hinged lower jaws, and that tend to grow to be about a foot long. These fish stay around 250 to 5,000 feet below sea level in the daytime and move to shallower depths at night. It is believed that viperfish attack their prey after luring them in with their photophores, which are located on the sides of their body and at the end of the elongated dorsal fin ray. These fish are popular for their monster-like looks, but there's no need to worry that you will ever come across one. They are rarely seen by humans, except for when deep water trawlers catch them by accident. And, because they live in such deep waters, it is believed that human activity has very little impact on their population. Not much is known about the lifespan of the viperfish, but most researchers think they live to be 15 or 30 years old. In captivity, they rarely live longer than a few hours. Sharp teeth are creepy, but what about floating eyes? This weird characteristic is owned by the barrelfish, which lives about 1,312 feet to 8,000 feet below sea level. Researchers at the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute captured the first living barrel eye fish in the early 2000s and discovered many previously unknown traits this creepy critter possessed. The Macropinna microstoma, known as the barrel eye fish, is small and dark with large fins, a tiny mouth, and unusual barrel eyes under a transparent dome. The two green spheres in the video are the lenses of its tubular eyes. The eyes are enclosed within the transparent shield, sort of like the glass canopy of a jet fighter. Above the mouth, the two dark capsules that appear to be eyes actually contain the fish's olfactory organs, or the equivalent of nostrils. Typically, the barrel eye sits quietly in the water, using its big fins for stability while it scans the water above for food. When it spots food, it can rotate its eyes to look forward to include its mouth in the field of view. The fish discovered alive by the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute is the first specimen of its kind to be found with its soft, transparent dome intact. It had been known since 1939, but only from mangled specimens dragged to the surface by nets. While the barrel eye fish may have some of the weirdest eyes, the hatchet fish's eyes are a close competition. Deep sea hatchet fish, living at about 1,310 feet to 4,130 feet below sea level, are widely known for their huge, soulless eyes. There are about 45 different hatchet fish species around the world, but only certain species live in the deep sea, while others live in freshwater streams and rivers. The creepy eyes of the hatchet fish are large, tubular, and point towards the sky. This angle of their eyes helps them in their search for food falling from above, which mainly consists of plankton and tiny fish. They are known to hunt by looking for the silhouettes of their prey moving above them. Because there is very little light at these depths these fish swim at, their eyes have become extremely sensitive to the light and are good at distinguishing shadows against the faint illumination from above. Hatchet fish also have photophores that run along the sides of their body and point downward. Some scientists believe that since these photophores point downward, they use bioluminescence as a technique to hide from predators through the process of counter-illumination. This means that they can adjust the intensity of their lights to make them almost invisible against the light above. Not much is known about these spooky deep sea fish, but many researchers believe that the hatchet fish lives less than a year. Most of their reproductive habits are a mystery, although it has been recorded that the babies look much different than the adults. 
The goblin shark, greenland shark, viper fish, bear life fish, and hatchet fish are only five of the many species lurking in our ocean's twilight zone. While there is not a lot of information about these species, there is even less information about how many other species may be out there. We are learning and exploring more of our oceans every day. With dedicated scientists and the help of technology, we can make great advancements in learning about our amazing ocean.